Oh, goodness. Okay, so we just came from um, the looking at the lecture part, just giving it a, a, a quick look, a quick glance. Um, okay. Oh, so, um, hmm. Yeah, there's a lot here. Ah, he's getting a little bit better at making certain things a little more obvious. So this is why we should study this. This is the short version of what I need to know. This is the tool we're going to use. Um, three triads of civ three tri three three of civilization come down here. There's three of something. There's three of this. Interesting, but there's no uh, instructions. Okay, he's literally putting it right there. Okay, so I'm still going to read this. Assignment D one. Three triads of civilization. Why study this? In D1, we look at the deepest roots of human civilization itself, the origins of Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Harappa, or the Indus Valley, people. Why? The United States and New Mexico are amalgamations, a great mixing together of many cultures. In order to study society in social studies, we have to look at what happens when worlds collide. We must look at the deepest, most fundamental aspects, the parts or facets, of the society we live in. The shortest version of what we need to learn in D1 is this. Each of our civilizations were formed in a certain crucible, a certain set of environmental circumstances. The hypothesis? The land slash climate itself cultivates people into certain types of behaviors. Well, I don't know what cultivates means. So I select it. And I can right click and on my Mac, it'll go right to look up. But guess what? We can also go to snap and read and click on define. It cultivates. Okay, cultivate, cultivate, cultivate. So picture version. Oh, that's cool. So that, oh, that was cool. I right click the word, go to snap and read, define, and it gives me pictures. So it's like farming and okay, planting seeds, all that kind of stuff. What's the exact definition? To foster the growth of like crops, to teach or refine, to discriminate, taste and judgment, to adapt to the environment. Okay. So the land or climate itself adapts people into certain types of behaviors. Okay. Well, what's the tool he's going to have us use? He started with Maslow's. He then moved us into uh, his brain crystal idea, and he's giving us another tool. The three triads of civilization is a tool. These three groups of three work together to help us understand human civilization as a whole and our civilization, our civilization specifically. They are as follows. All life has three basic drives. Adapt, survive, and reproduce. The bad parts of civilization are racism, militarism, and materialism. The good parts of civilization are creation, communication, and collaboration. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So if this is the tool he's going to have us use, he wanted us to memorize Maslow's. He wanted us to get a sense of the brain crystal idea. He is expecting us to use this tool in whatever we're doing to keep these ideas in mind. So I... Um, would get a piece of paper out and I would write all of this down and maybe organize it into something with nine sides or nine triangles because the dude clearly has a thing for geometry and maybe it'll help me understand it because my job is not only to understand my thinking on uh, work. It's to understand the text and the person who wrote the questions. I have to get into Sims's head a little bit or a lot to understand exactly what he wants. And that's true for every single good teacher. Um, Cause we all, we all fall victim to not understanding that we understand something that nobody else understands. I know that doesn't make sense to you yet, but I promise you it does actually make a bit of sense. But I digress. Moving on. While these things aren't always in play with our individual lives, which things? Oh, the nine. Okay. All nine are present within every moment in human society. Oh, there he goes again, saying it's something that's going to affect 
everything. Okay, that's okay. He's really going off on this. I'm going to need to use this tool in my head. I'm going to need to memorize it. Okay, so next, let's get to the instructions. To earn a 100%, you must earn 60 of 60 points on the student worksheet in one of two ways. The first way is answering the 25 questions in the worksheet, color-coded for your reference. Huh. I wonder what he means. The second way is answering one of the essay questions on the last page of the student worksheet. Is the answer answering one of the essay questions? Oh, the second way. Okay, the first way um, I answer 25 questions in the worksheet. The second way is to earn 100, I must do... I know I'm going back and forth, guys, but to earn 100%, you must earn 60 of 60 points on the student worksheet in one of two ways. So there's two options. First way is 25 questions. Ah, I got it. The second way is answering one of the essay questions. Oh, well, it depends on what I want to do, right? You can do one one page essay, probably about 400 to 600 words, uh, or the questions. Ah, I guess it's up to me. Remember to follow the instructions within the worksheet or your points will be compromised. So his instructions tell us to look at the instructions inside of the uh, worksheet. Cool. So just type your answer within the provided sheet, write out your answers on a piece of paper, or you can record a video or audio file answering the questions. It's totally up to you. Vamos. <laughs> yeah, gringo. Mm, that's okay though. We still love him. Um, okay, so there's the reading. There's a video. There's an image. There's an audio. No, okay, hover over it. It says no music with music. Well, it depends on my mood. Then there's the Google Slides itself. And then, of course, for you guys, this one, student worksheet, will be at the top right near the word turn it in. So let's see what he, you know, forget all this stuff. I don't want to read this yet. I don't even know how it fits together. But I'm noticing that they're all named the same. So I'm guessing that this text, this reading, this Google Doc, is either connected to or oh he just finished didn't he he just finished making us do writing into video into a presentation oh god this guy is extra so this is the google slides this is the text this is basically his version of c2 this is his version of C3, and this is his version of C4. Ha, 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 Mr. Sims. Hilarious. Huh. Let's see what we have to do with him. Uh, oh, he went even further because he did an audio file. Shut up. <laughs> I don't like that Mr. Sims guy. He's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see what this says. I don't, even, I don't even start to answer questions. He said it was color-coded. Okay, so he's got the yellow, the white, the green, and the blue. It's like there are sections in a piece of reading or maybe paragraphs. Well, let's go back to the assignment itself. Okay, so he the student worksheet, it's about that. Let's see what the reading is. Because let's be honest, he might have made this video. He might have made these slides. Uh, but the reading's what he really wants. That's what we're going to have to do in the real world. So let's see what that looks like. Ah, yellow, white, green, and blue. Sweet. He put them all together. I bet you if we go in his Google Slides, you're going to have the same kind of thing. Let's see. Okay, so far... Nothing. I can use my arrow button here. Not quite this. Oh, there's white. And then there's green. And then is it blue next? Blue. So wait a second. Is that right? So white... Okay, the white, 
yellow white green is that what he did over here he yellow white green blue something's missing not here so these two are the same but the presentation oh but this is yellow oh that sly dog that's brilliant okay so the yellow he's signaling the yellow here but maybe he's not putting that into text there's all that yellow okay so it goes white green and blue is that what he does everywhere else white green blue Ooh, three out of four things he gives me the presentation and the text for okay that's okay so the yellow the white the green the blue okay that makes sense all right so I come up here and there's the presentation but let's see what he does with the video now I'm not gonna actually play the whole video right now you can do that on your own but I'll show you how it all fits We're going to look at the study of society through something called thermodynamics. Um, to simplify, thermodynamics is the study of how energies flow through and within systems. Um, you know, how energy transmits from one area to another. So instead of looking at things through timelines and who killed who when hmm. and who did what when and said what... Okay, that's, that's interesting because that doesn't... It doesn't match up. So this is kind of like a puzzle. This is just the same kind of thing as a video game where you're figuring out a puzzle. So it starts with a white. I need to I need to read this part. So so the white, the yellow. Um, hmm. <laughs> yellow. I just want to figure this out. His little puzzle. So I remember seeing that guy moving around and then there, oh, ah, there's always that one part I have to put together. Okay. So this works with this. Okay. The yellow here matches with the yellow there. The presentation I'm interpreting with the yellow but there seems like there should be something else. And I don't remember what it is. So there's the there's the uh, student part. I feel like I'm missing something. Presentation. Hmm. Is it the reading? Well, let's see if what he says in the video matches up. Okay. Let's see. To begin our deeper look into the study of society. Okay. Okay. So basically, this yellow part, this white part, this green part, and this blue part, all of this stuff here, guys, that's a transcript. That is basically taking his words that he said during the video, and we have to read them here. We can listen to them in the video. We can listen to them in the MP3 with music or without. Some people need no music. Some people need the music. And so what I'm probably going to do, I would play the audio, read, or maybe play the video and just follow along. And then if I have a printer, great. If not, I can put the video on one side. So let's come out here. Whoops. Create the video on one side, pull it out in YouTube. Okay. I am always glad that his don't have notes. 
So there's the video, and I'll put it on half of the screen. Okay, and get out of here and go to the student worksheet. And I'll pull, why can't I see? There we go. I know this is rivetingly exciting. <laughs> But, again, you can always speed things up while I'm doing this kind of work. Um, but this is, again, this is the actual hard work of it all. So, I'm going to see if I'm right. Let's go. Play that. Where is it? All right, here we go. And our deeper look into the study of society. I'm by... looking for this word. Moving away from the ideas of dates, dudes, and destruction, which is the traditional way of studying society, of social studies. And we're going to look at the study of society through something called thermodynamics. Um, to simplify, thermodynamics is the study of how energies flow through and within systems. Okay, now my memory is much better because I am obviously the person who said this originally and wrote this. Thermodynamics is the study of, and then I'm going to write the answer, how uh, energies move through and within systems. Okay, and I'm not going to trust my memory because I'm human. My memory may not be perfect. So I'm going to go back and listen to it again. Is the study of how energies flow through and within systems. Okay, flow. Ooh, he kept going. I need to go back. He's looking for reproductions. From one area to another. So instead of looking at things through timelines and who killed Oops. who when and who oh, energies flow through and within systems, um, you know, how energy transmits from one area to another. Okay. How area, and I've seen the way he writes, so um, how energy transmits from one area into another. Okay, so I have now finished using this and I'm trying to reproduce what he did here. And that's gonna be basically all you need for all of the fill in the blanks. So he's got 11 fill in the blanks, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, so he's got 23 out of 25 fill in the blanks. Well, what is 23 divided by 25? Now I should do the essay portions. That's a 92%. You can still get a 92% on this one and not write. Uh, but my ancestors didn't raise no weakling. I'm gonna put my first energy into going ahead and well, there's 25 questions, but I, oh, 25 questions. There's two essays, two essays. Is that it? Four essays and 23. So four and 23 is 27. Ooh, but these are worth 10 points. Five points, five points. Each of these is worth two points. If I put all my energy into the fill in the blanks, it'll give me 23 out of 27 because I didn't catch those essays the first time. 23 divided by 27. That's an 85%, that's a B. That's not bad still. So if I just do the lines here and I get these all 100% correct, I'll earn 25 out of uh, 27, no, 23 out of 27 points, which is an 85%. Not, again, not bad. Not bad, but it looks like if I do all of them, I'll earn more than the 60 points. Oh, dude, he's giving us an opportunity for uh, extra credit. I wonder if he meant to do that. Shh, don't tell him. If he doesn't, if you get everything right, make sure he gives you more than 100% if you do everything. 
Wow. Okay. So I'm literally just going to uh, look for the fill in the blanks the first time I... Whoa. <laughs> the first time I go through this entire thing. Um, but yeah, that's basically what it is. And then it looks like um, I have to pick two of these, about one paragraph answer for each, um, and just go through them. Chances are pretty good that all of the fill in the blanks are in the same order of the uh, video here or the... Oops, that was not... Mm, poop. Well, yeah, that happens, guys. <laughs> You end up closing too many things and you have to start again. But yeah, I would go ahead and go with the fill in the blank first and then circle back for the essays. Because once you have all the fill in the blank information, the what's being asked in the essay and being said in the overall document is probably going to be the best thing. Uh, it's going to be the most informative for you, the most useful tool to keep for the rest of your life. All right. Time to get shackalack and yeah yeah i'm cool epic <laughs>